I'm Keisha of Simply Vintage Design. And I'm Hope of Hope Made Yarn Co. And together we are Pine Berry Knits and this is episode 28. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna talk about what I'm wearing? We're gonna so that you can take it off. <laughs> so I can take it off because it's hot. It's a hot day and I'm hot. It is hot. I it's am hot. Warm out here. But it's also hot. <laughs> but anywho, so this is um my latest, well not latest whip, but I Yeah. It's what you've been working on. What I've been working on, my first color work. Check it out. And yes, it does fit my big head. Oh. Um <laughs> But anyways, it's so what pattern is it? This is the prickly pear. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, Thea Coleman. And no, this is not a pom pom. Right? Yeah, yes. Oh. This is not a pom pom. This is my hair. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm this close to making it one of these ponytail hats, but I'm like, nah. Although I always have my hair in a ponytail. But anywho, so check it out. Um, we're going to talk about this and how tight it is. <laughs> but it looks, it looks good. Yeah, and it does. And I, it, I think because it's super washer and I think it will grow yeah. a little bit when we when you block it. Yeah. So I think it's going to be okay. But the next time you guys see me, it's going to be 90 degrees, but it'll be done. And um, <laughs> so you'll save it till the yeah, fall and you'll wear it in the fall. But isn't it fly though? This is Keisha's Golden. But you know, it's it's March. It's I know. Middle I, I got all excited. So, but it, no, I mean, yeah. you could still get. We could still get a couple. It's of a days. lighter weight hat. It's yeah, not, it's not like it's not made out bulky. of bulky weight. Yarn. Yeah. So you could still there could still be a few cool days where you can get need it. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, so the, the green is Ophelia, mm -hmm. and then the color work is Keisha's Golden, yeah. and of course, duh, and it's, it's it, <laughs> yes, yeah, my splendid DK yarn. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's an eighty-five uh, super, extra I, fine superwash and a uh, fifteen nylon. Yeah. I'm so excited about this. You have it's no idea. It's looking good. It's, it's my looking first. really good. I love we, the color on you, too. We were a little color. concerned because Hope was like, ooh. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, that, I wasn't. Was cool. I was just... It fit on her head perfectly. <sighs> this big noggin, I was like, oh, please. Keisha please. learned one thing about her knitting. She, yes. She's a little tight was... on her color work. So I told her next ooh. time she does color work to go up a... Um, yeah, so let's show up it. Up a needle size. Because I don't know if you can see... see. It. It'll be easier to see when it's off the needles, but yeah. it's... It kind of goes out there above the color work. Heat miser. So, so she definitely needs to go up a needle size. But yeah. the color work looks yeah, I'm really, so excited. Really, really good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, that's so. warm. Yeah. So. It's like 68 degrees. I don't it know what it's really like in your neck warm. of the woods, but I'm not complaining. And we're recording on Tuesday, Tuesday the 12th. So because I have to get my rocks clean tomorrow and we don't want to rush. Yeah, we were afraid it was going to be. So, yeah. So it looks really good. But like, yeah, Keisha's a little tighter on her color work than on on just regular stockinette. So she's going to go. Oh, that's up why, that's why everything's size. blurry. I'm like, why can't I see myself? Up a needle size when she does her color work yeah. next time. So, yeah. Oof. So that's so, coming along yes. really nice. Yeah, you got. I'm decreasing. So you now. were. Is that where you were last time? And then yes. you got that much done. Yeah. So yeah, you're really close to being done. You're, yeah. You just because it decreases pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I know noticed mine that. did. Mine decreased like. Yeah. Yeah, and I think they pretty much have the same decrease. It kind of gives like a like a little almost yep. like a ruffle. Little. Part yep. Up at the I top. think so too. Yeah. So. But and it was a lot of fun. It was yeah, a lot of fun. It was a fun one. Yeah. Did you get a, a pom pom for that girl? Oh, okay, you did. All right. <laughs> Is the duck behind water tight? Of course I did. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we aren't going to talk about what we're wearing today because neither of us are wearing knitwear because, as we said, it's too hot. It's, it's <laughs> more, uh, you want to see us catch on fire? And we both, we both are sporting yeah, our fans today. Fans we both already. got our fans today. Yeah. So we are. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it's even a little bit warmer because I decided to throw some yarn that I dyed yesterday back in the dye pots because I didn't feel like it had enough color, so I wanted to add some more color. So that yeah. adds heat, but I do have the windows open, so that's yeah. helping a little bit. So um, okay, well, so, I have some finished items. Or, are we going to start with that? Are we going to talk about what, or talk what we're going to do over the past, the past two weeks? Well, let's start with what we did over the past two weeks. Let's do that. All right, okay, so we'll start off with good. beginning of the month. Where were we at, Miss Hope? We were at Knit Not Natter in Pompton Plains, New Jersey. And for those of you who came out to see us, thank you, thank you. so much. We had a wonderful show. And our um, girl Esther showed up. Esther <laughs> Hi, Esther. Hi, Esther. <laughs> And she already has her, which I, which we posted. Yes, we posted. Um, but if you want to see it again, let me oh, sure. yeah, yeah. Oh she, my this goodness, this sister. She let me tell you something. She's already done her um, Lapoof cardigan. I am so la jealous. Yeah, so <laughs> she did look great. I know. <laughs> 
I know it's beautiful. She did a really beautiful job. So that's that's amazing. So here's one picture. Of I her. still have only done the swatch. Isn't she a cutie patootie? Yeah. That's so pretty. I love the yeah. colors. So I we, love the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Oh, this is another one. Boop boop boop. Yeah. We <clears throat> we did post. Um. We we only posted in our stories, didn't we? I need to do an actual post. So that's. Um, oh yeah, there you go. I mean, and this one. here's a good one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah. That is great, amazing. And she did it all in Hope uh, Hope Made Yarn Co. Hope's favorite. So, um, and yeah, so pretty amazing. So yeah. Um, so. And you can actually check her out. She she tagged us, like we said. Yeah, you know, she is. She did the uh, the way we said to post any of the things is you know to tag us and also use the hashtag which now i think because someone posted something um it actually is showing up so when you go into our page if you go to our tagged section um there she is yeah she comes up and, and she is also georgie and jude handmade yeah and when you go into the oh, it was working the other day now it's not working I don't understand um, that and why it does it that. It worked for uh, like when, yeah. when she posted it. So the hashtag still isn't working, but we will see it definitely if you tag us. And that way it shows up and everybody, and that way you guys can all see what everybody's making too, mm -hmm. which is really nice because it's all in one spot right down where our tags are. Yeah. So and we really don't have very many tagged items in there right now. Because we're new so, to this. Yes, because we're new to this. So it'll be really easy to find, um, to find that on the page. So... You can check that out. Yes. So, yeah. So, oh, and we we said, so I guess we should say that again. We're doing a knit along. Uh, the knit along is to either make the Lapoof cardigan or the Lapoof pullover Le Pouf. or to make any cardigan that you like. And you it's called the A Particular Age Cow. You don't have to be of a particular age, but <laughs> 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 because we like our cardigans because we tend to get too hot and they're much easier yes. to take on and off these yep. days. Um, that's why we're doing cardigans. But like we said, you can do the LaPouf pullover or LaPouf cardigan or any cardigan of your choice. And that includes um, crocheted. If you would like to crochet a cardigan, you are more than welcome to join us as well. And um, I, we have all the way until I think like October 20th, the, the, uh, cow's going to go along, go mm. on till because I'll need every moment of that because we want them to be done <laughs> in time for Rhinebeck weekend. We're yes. not calling them our Rhinebeck sweater, but we want to have them so that we can yeah. wear them over Rhinebeck weekend. Yep. So, um, which seems far away, but April also seemed far away and it's, it's only almost eight months. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, if that, I don't even know if it's eight months away now. So yeah, I, I mean, feel like it's less. Yeah, might be. Oh. Maybe it's like, uh, I, don't I don't know, know why I'm pretending. Like, I'm looking off like, what is that? I can't <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> We're not going to figure it out in our heads. But anyway, yes. it's coming up before you know it. So we just, yeah. And apparently, I'm going to be a little slower getting things done because the tendonitis in my elbows has flared up a bit. So as you see, I'm not sitting here knitting while I'm talking to you. I'm giving my elbows a little break. I feel like everybody, because so. even Michael from Michael uh, was also he was talking about that too. His. Yeah, yeah. They, it is. I gave. I didn't really do any um, knitting yesterday or the day before, so they are feeling a little bit better. I've been icing and doing Advil and taking it easy and trying to do some of my exercises for them. So I'm hoping that I will be able to do a little bit mm -hmm. at a time, but it's going to be slow going for a while until. And her slow going, going is better. still faster than mine. So <laughs> her slow is um, <laughs> my spaz. <laughs> yeah, but so. that's, I'll be taking a little break. So we went to Bombs and Plains for our Knit Not and Natter. Um, yep, and we had uh, Esther came out and Esther came out. Gail um, came Gail out. Gail came out. Yep. Yeah. And, um, oh, we had, I don't remember everybody's names, but I don't either. I like, yeah. She took a picture with that. We had we had some people that came out yeah. to visit. Yes. And guess what? Well, it was a rainy sh <laughs> It was a rainy sugary day. day. Yeah, it was it was nasty. Yes. Oh, we had nasty. The drive up was awful. Not fun. I was driving and we had to leave what did we leave at? Like five something in the morning. Five something in the morning. I think I left the house at five thirty yeah. in the morning. And I will tell you We kind of white knuckled it. We saw yeah. an accident. 
Yeah. Yeah. But you can't see the lines on the garden state yeah. when it's dark and raining. Yeah. We need reflective paint. Yeah. We're, we're just, Jersey, we're just like, up? I think I'm in the lines. Yeah. I think I'm in the lines. Yep. And then finally, and it was foggy too. Yeah. So it was foggy it was, and rainy and it just, it was and then of course, while we're enjoyable. unloading the car, it was pouring down raining. Yeah. That was, yeah. And it was pouring down raining when we loaded back up both times, right? It was raining, yeah. It just, uh, it wasn't, uh, yeah, but it was, it was just, it was what it was. It, it sucked. We, but. but we had a wonderful show. Thank you to everybody who came out. Yeah. It was so nice meeting people. Um, we really need to write, if it's really, but when you're busy, you can't really write down names. So sorry yeah. if we don't have, no, you're, everybody's, I mean, yeah, it is but thank it you. Is. Yes. I, I had thank to make it so much. a mental note about yeah, doing know, that because I was I doing it for a while. I even managed that at, that show that we did. But you didn't October. do it when we were doing the actual show because we couldn't. We were so busy. That's what? the pro in which regard? Yeah, I you did. did it you did it after. You did it when we were walking around Rhinebeck and all that. Oh, but during, I did ask during, people their names. Right. At, yeah, but during the show. The other show. Yeah. And there was just too much oh. going on. There's no way we would have remembered. I mean, I think remembered one or two. Mm. Mostly because we then saw them again later. Right. Because I can't say that I would have remembered everybody's <laughs> It was a little crazy. Yeah. So yeah, right. shows are a little, a yeah. little busy. Um, it's hard to keep track of everything, but we yeah we had, we had a really great time. Yeah. Um, we had some people come that were friends for, uh, friends with friends of ours from down here. So yeah, that was really cool. And it was cool. Yeah, we had we had a really nice show, and then and then let's see. We do? Well, we, we, do? we went to what? knitting groups a couple of yeah. We went to our knitting group, and then we Monday, you taught Wednesday. a knitting. Oh yeah, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Yes, we had um, our first um, knit along with me mm -hmm. at um, the Ocean City Library. Um, we had a good turnout. We had like yeah. fifteen people show up, yeah. and we had out of those, I think five had never knit mm -hmm. before, and we had a couple of people that had some knitting knowledge but didn't really know much. So we got five started. Um, with the basics, just, you know, the knit stitch. And then we got some other people. Oh, one knit. of them reached out to me because she broke, or the dog got a hold of a knitting needle. Oh. Oh. Yes. And I don't think I looked for a response. Oh, I hope it was the one of the ones from the library. No. It was a plastic one. One of those yours? No, I mean, they were all donated, so it doesn't. Yeah. It's okay. I just didn't know. Yeah. Um, I hope it wasn't the. Oh, okay. It was like my dog ate my homework. So oh, is that, yeah. goodness. <laughs> well, that's okay. We can replace Oh, those aren't plastic. Are those woods? I can't no, tell. I think they're plastic. I can show this, not right? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But <laughs> I got that picture. At first, I'm like, are those matches? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we had we had a lot of donated yarn and donated needles. Um, which was awesome. Yes, yeah. Um, we Belong donated some needles to... to um, and yeah, and then the library also had other ones that had been donated. So it was really great. Um, so we got people started on knitting and we're going to have another one on March 25th, which yep. I think is a Monday night from 6.30 to 8.30 at the Ocean yes, City Library. Um, and I did actually order some more. Um, we Belong bought some more needles to bring. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll have enough because I did not have enough of the We Belong needles mm -hmm. to share with everybody last time. So we that wasn't one of the, one, the ones from We Belong. That was one that had been donated mm -hmm. um, to the library from someone else. And there, a lot of them, I think, were... You know, yeah, kind somebody, of. somebody cleaning out somebody's st yeah. stash type of thing. Should I drop um, off some to her? Because I have some wooden ones or whatever. Well, I have the ones I just got. So oh, okay. Because so I didn't I know can, she wanted to work yeah. on. I guess I should ask her. Yeah, if she, if she wants. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I have. I got. They just came in. Oh, okay. So I have needles now. So yeah. So you can take some of the ones from the We Belong group if you would like to take those to her. Drop them off. Okay. Yeah, I would have. I would have liked to have been able to give them to everybody who was there that didn't have needles. Yeah. But he didn't have enough, so we had to use. So I just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting as big of a. As many people and as showed, so it was really think? great. Brandy for help. Oh yeah. yes, yes, Brandy, Our friend and, Brandy. and Keisha. I both of them got were helping because. I wasn't expecting as many people to show, and we had some people that needed a little bit more help yeah. than others. So um, I was basically Brandy standing over people Keisha like, "Ooh!" 
And even <laughs> even my my friend Heather also. Yeah. We had yeah we had several people that were pitching in and helping out. Um, with, Heather was funny. Oh, yeah. I'm not at that good. She, this she had like this shawl that was, was gorgeous yeah. yeah while working on a color work sweater <sighs> have several seats Heather <laughs> get out of here with that she was like oh, I'm not that great at knitting you're knitting a color work sweater <laughs> so yeah so yeah. we had lots of lots of people that came out and yep. to to join in and also lots of people that helped out with it which was really which is what I wanted right that was my idea was for it to be a community type of thing where we all kind of helped each other out and I wanted it to be intergenerational which we did we only had one younger child I, i'm not sure exactly how old she was i didn't ask I would, yeah i would say, say yeah, she's, she's probably eight no nine, no ten. We, the 10 was the youngest oh 10 so probably <laughs> 10 or 10 or so 10 right. maybe 11 probably 10 yeah um and then we did have some i guess teenagers right oh yes yeah we had All a couple college, of teenagers. yeah one high school and one college or two yeah. yeah yeah so we had so we had three younger people and then we mm -hmm. had so we had a mix of ages which is what i was hoping for yeah. um i really was hoping to be able to you know do that. that's gonna grow is our first yeah, yeah. well yeah. yeah and i love the idea of it being intergenerational mm -hmm. and you know having us because i think we need more of that in our yes. world we need more me. community yes we yes. need more community we need more people to get together to over fun stuff like that yes yes yeah I'm learning doing. something fires off those things in your brain neurons or yeah. whatever and, yeah. and we need, you know, because we can all benefit from learning from each other. Yeah. Because we can learn from younger people. We can learn from older people. We, it's it's just good to have that mm -hmm. that chance to work with each other. So, yeah. So, it was great. Um, we had a, I think we had a really nice. nice and it was fun. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so we, we had a good time. Um, so that happened. And then what else happened? And Monday, else happened. Well, and, and before that, Monday, we went to knitting at the library down in Lower Township. Yes. So that was Monday morning. And, and again, I'm going to call them teacher lounge people. Yarnia because, South. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> with, uh, so who was it with the Chester's? With the, with the snacks. Oh yes. My oh, my God. From Chester's. Ba oh. <sighs> it's very good. But... <laughs> <laughs> When the sister's trying to like stay in shape, like oh my god, you could smell the sugar, like oh, it's so good, it like good. it, it's yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah they sent. And we were just saying like, oh my gosh, we're at the gym <laughs> that morning, like me, 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 we're not gonna, me, 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 we're gonna uh, stop yeah. eating all this stuff. We get there and then I try to rationalize. I'm like, okay, so we'll split this dough because the donuts were oh, like enormous, big. like and the frosting, big donut, and, and the frosting was like, mm, no. it was good, like you can taste the ingredients in it. So we split that, but then. You know, you had what you had a little Danish on oh, the side. I did, I did. Mm. Oh, yeah, I had the little apple thing and the yeah, little, and a little Danish, and yeah, was, that went out the window. We rationalized it with, oh, we went to the gym. Oh well, I just said, okay, I guess this is my lunch. Yeah, so <laughs> the elf so, over yeah, here. So that is, I, I think we mentioned this before, but we'll mention it again. That mm. is on Mondays, as long as as long as the library is open and mm -hmm. it's not a holiday. Um, from eleven to one down at. Um, <coughs> lower township library and they're For calling it folks. i think they're calling it yarnia south yeah because they have a yarnia um i think they have a knit night on tuesday nights from i don't actually know what time it is but they have that at the courthouse library it's a it's a t one of those you know right at dinner time so it doesn't normally because i have kids at home it doesn't really work out for me mm -hmm. for the most part but um that yeah but the south the the other one yeah so, yeah, they're all on the events pages for the Cape May County Library system, so you can find the information there. Um, and then... Yep. And then we did BAM on... Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, and then we did... You did. On I Thursday. did. Yeah. I did Thursday night. We I get together with some friends at a ha at one of their houses, and we knit on Thursday night. And yeah. then on Saturday, nope, not Saturday. See, you get oh, ahead of yourself. Yeah. What else happened about this Friday? Week? I forgot. I turned forty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> Happy born day! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I had a birthday on Friday, not Friday, Saturday. Saturday. I don't even know what day. See, that's but why Friday. I started writing stuff down because. We both sit yeah. here like, huh? <laughs> but, but we kind of celebrated on Friday. Yes. So what um, we did, where we go? What we did, where we go? So we went to, oh, oh, Keisha, Keisha posted the other day. Yeah. I don't know if you guys see, Not a, I know not everybody's on Instagram, so I will show you the post that Keisha did. Um, but we went to Black Run Preserve. Preserve. Yes. 
which is really nice. So if that's over what in Marlton, over yeah, but I don't know what county that is. Yeah, I don't know, but. Um, Black Run Preserve. It's an old um, cranberry bog. And um, it is because yeah. there's lots of water. There's a lot of water. Yeah. But we had on our waterproof boots, so we were good to yeah. go. Definitely wear waterproof boots if you're going to go hike yeah. out there. But, but it's, it's beautiful. Very nice. And it's an easy hike. Yeah. Easy, just, you know, really just more walk in nature yeah. than a hike there was and no it was nice wide paths and what yeah. we liked about it it you can do mountain biking and stuff out there too yeah. completely but different different trails so yeah you don't have to look out for like yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so it was really nice it was a really nice walk and it was a beautiful day it was absolutely because it was like the day before it rained and then friday was really nice and then saturday it, it rained. It rained. All day. So yeah, so but, we went there and then we headed over to Wool Bears. Over no, in, oh, we did go there next. No, no, we went to lunch and then we went to Wool Bears. Tell them about lunch. Lunch was mm. at the Robin's Nest oh. in Mount Holly, and if you haven't been oh. to the Robin's Nest in Mount Holly, let you me tell you are something. You are missing out. out. First of so, all, tell them about how it looks, and then it's, it's just it's gorgeous. It's so it's really cute. It's it's an mm. older building. It's a I guess it's an older home, right? That yeah, they turned into to, a um, a restaurant, and it's really cute. Um, the whole little town actually yes, is Mount really Holly is a cute little town. So this is the outside of it. Oh my gosh. And it's got a cute little bakery inside of it. So that's the outside. I didn't get yeah. any bakery pictures. No, oh my goodness. And the baked goods were delicious. My children were very happy. For those of you who know me, goods. I do love a good French fry, okay? And these are the truffle. Yeah, they were truffle, truffle French fries. fries. And were, thank God we slid mm. them because it oh. came out like. It was enormous. Yeah. We could have had several more people at our yeah. table. Yeah, but we, we did, did. We could not eat all Ooh, of them. And we had, because you know me, I got to have my adult beverage let's finish up in the background <laughs> um and i had it was a raspberry bubbly something i think it was a raspberry bubbly i think yeah it was called it had Amazing. limoncello in it too I yes think. and yeah. then um it was delightful we got the what kind of soup is this oh it was roasted cinderella pumpkin yeah. soup and it mm. was a grown-up grilled cheese grown-up grilled cheese on sourdough which with bacon some also, type of cheese and big jelly yeah which was also delicious yes yeah, so we, and then I grabbed some desserts to take home to my mm. boys, and um, yeah. yeah, we had a very nice lunch. And yeah. then after lunch, we headed over to Wool Bears mm -hmm. because we need, we went, oh, because I had, oh, I didn't bring those out here. I had some oh. people ask to, us to pick up some needle stoppers for them, so we have those for them. And, and, and then what we did. Yeah. And then we went up and we picked up my son. <laughs> yeah. Because it's spring break, so my oldest is home for spring break right now. Yeah. And then, yeah. Which is, we, we do have some, I feel like we've been running for months like now, which is been, fine. I mean, yeah. 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 And so. then Saturday was my actual, oh, then so my son and I made my birthday cake on Saturday or Friday evening when he came home. So mm. that, because I have a tradition, I have birthday cake for breakfast on my birthday. She's our little elf. <laughs> And if you're not yeah. familiar with the Elf movie, it's sugar as a food group. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had birthday cake for <laughs> breakfast on my birthday, and then we went over, and my nephews were in a play over um, at their high school, and so we drove over to uh, to their high school, and we saw them in a play. We saw Mama them in Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Um, which was very, they, the, the school did a very good job. Um, so we, yeah, so we did that. We did, that was in the afternoon and then we came back and we went out for dinner. Um, the boys and I went out for dinner on Saturday. Um, we went to, it's over in Ocean City. All three of the boys will eat there. <laughs> John, no, not John and Patty's. No, Yanni's. 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 Yeah. Yes, because all three of my boys will eat Yanni's, so mm. that's always a plus because, you know, picky eaters and all. Mm. So, <laughs> um, my older two are not picky. <laughs> yeah. And ah. so, anyway, yeah. But, yeah, so then on Sunday, we went to, which we had never heard of this before until oh. guess, just a couple months ago. Yeah. Um, somebody told us about lines on the pines, right? Lines on the pines? Yes. I lines thought it was lines the, at the pines. So it's lines. Oh, lines I think on it's the lines pines. on the pines. I don't know. Let me, yeah. I'll look it up because right. I, I have, I'm following them on. At Stockton. And um, it was 
amazing. It was um, really, real lines on the pine. Okay, lines, lines on the pine. Yeah, yeah. Um, pine. it was really cool because usually when you go to shows, sometimes it they're heavy. I don't know it. Sometimes they have weird stuff there, or not enough vendors, well, or not enough. And this is the what I thought was really cool is a lot of times, like even. Sh- the art shows pull from all over the place. They right. don't normally pull just local, local. people. And that's what I and really like. this liked. was all local people. Yeah. All people that are somehow connected to the Pine Barrens. Yeah. So there were people spinning yarn, and there were people there that... Um, we had one lady who um, gets all of her her wool locally from local sources. She started... Um, what? Oh, I forgot. Oh, where did I put all those cards? Oh, I put them in here. Um, she, she, during the pandemic, she started, um, collecting fleeces from local people and she, she, at first she thought she was just doing it, you know, for herself. And then she realized, cause she was just going to spin it all herself. And then she realized, Oh, I have a lot more yarn or fleece here than I thought. It's a pretty much um, like forever. It's stacked up to. So yeah. So she's had some of it spun professionally and uh so so if you're looking for you know i don't do is this it no, no that's handwritten i just realized it was the handwritten one which of course means it didn't come out of the bag with the rest of the stuff uh. that i had oh come on i know i had it here oh here it is um pine barrens yarn co <clears throat> is her it's the name of her business it's pine barons yarn co she's got an etsy shop where she sells her so it's locally um locally su- why can't i think of the right word sourced yes locally sourced all within the pine barons and then i think she said that she sends it down to maryland maryland because she tries to keep it yeah. close within 150 miles yeah she said there's nowhere uh, new jersey doesn't have any mills which is mind-blowing no to me that she can get it to spin, get to spin it, but she's got a place down in Maryland. She gets it spun, so that's really cool. And I don't know. I think all of her she does like natural dyeing. I think. Yeah, she's yeah. she's natural. Yeah. yeah. So so if you're looking for any of those kinds of things, you know, I obviously do not. I do acid dyes mm-hmm. and I source mine, but but I definitely got some names, and you know, I'm hoping one day to be able to do like a you know some limited. Um, limited runs on like local stuff so hopefully someday that'll be something that i can offer but not not right now let's see what the name so of this one was. so yeah but so we did do some purchasing too and we also got some other information um so yeah it was really really cool um what was i gonna say what what is the name we'll of share one? that when we share that was she's from um swan yeah, she's from fort, Repub- uh, fort yeah, republic the name of it's swan something I thought I grabbed a card from her, but I didn't. I don't think she had cards. She just oh, said, she said to she's, um, she's hands on history on online, but it's like swans. I can't remember. Yeah, here I'll look it up. But she's hands on history on um. She, her website is hands on history. Yeah, she seemed very nice and yeah, very she knowledgeable. Was, she does classes at Swans Bay Folk Art Center. That's okay. what it's called. Uh, Swans Bay Folk Art Center and she does they do they teach classes in basket weaving and felting um so I, all this will be linked down in the description down below the video right. I will add all of this um so so yeah so what we'll talk more about it when we get to that you know, topic when we get to what we purchased and whatnot there um because all of that kind of goes we we didn't buy Obviously, I don't need more yarn. So we did not pr- make any purchases at um, the Pine Barren. Yarn, well, because it was supposed because. to be a look-see. We were going yeah, to go check that it was out. Really, the plan anyway was just and we look. got wrapped up in it. But like I said, it was it was amazing. Like I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and we we both want to. Um, we were talking about you know next year. Hopefully, we can apply because okay. we didn't learn about it until they already had yeah had other people. But yeah, so it's really cool. Um, it looks like it was it's well planned. Um, and it had an awesome turnout. Yeah. 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 I mean, it really did. Awesome turnout. It was, yeah. Really well attended yeah. and really, really neat. We'll show you some of the things that we gathered while yeah. we were there. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, and we also, we met, um, I, 
have followed them on um, Instagram, but since we already talked about hiking, uh, South Jersey Trails, he goes through and he has a website Mm -hmm. and he will tell you about the different trails that he hikes in South Jersey, which is great because there's not, like, I have a book, um, it's the AMC, I can't remember what it's called, I just... Oh, it's the Appalachian Mountain Club um, 50 Day Hikes in New Jersey. And it's got maybe, I don't know, five or six that are in South Jersey. And the rest of that's where we found the. Everybody forgets about South Jersey. That's where we found. Except for this guy. (laughs) That's where we found the Black Run um, Preserve hike um, Mm -hmm. that was in that book, Um, which is great, but there's not a whole lot of. Yeah, information, information and stuff, and he really hikes in South is pretty Jersey. detailed. Yeah, he's, yeah, he does a nice job. So he's got a website and a um, Instagram page. So, so it's just nice because you know we like to, to hike, and it's nice to be able to not do the exact. You know, we don't mm. we don't want to do the same hike over and over, over and, and over again. again. We want to explore new places. Yeah. So. so that was really cool, and we we actually got to meet him. So, so that was neat. Yeah. Um, and then we'll talk about the rest of it when we get to that part. So that's that. That pretty much brings us up to now. What you whipping? It's like. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have one finished object. So I'll show that real quick, and then I will do my whips. So I have. Okay, it's mostly finished. Maybe I have a <laughs> tail that needs to get hidden. <laughs> okay, so they're finished for the most part. They need the ends woven in. But these are my um, scrumptious pearl. Um, Christmas berries, scrumptious pearl Christmas berries. It's her um, 80 20 superwash merino nylon, 400 yards, um, 100 grams. And I did, well, it's mostly just a vanilla sock. I sort of did the um, smooth operator. I think I did the smooth operator um, instructions for the heel. Um, the toe, I just did my normal toe that I normally do. Um, but yeah, 64 stitch cast on, knit them on my, oh, yeah. <laughs> I knit one on a Chalgu, um, I did it magic loop, and the other one I did on a 9-inch circular. Ugh. I will never use a 9-inch circular again because I can't, I'm too tense when I do it, and I think that's yeah. part of the reason that my tendonitis has flared up. So that will not be happening, happening again, um, so... It is what it is. I apparently knit too tight for nine inch circulars mm-hmm. and was definitely way too tense while doing it. So, so my socks are done. I have, and I, I think I showed last time that I had already cast on my new one, which I'll get to that in whips. So you don't have any. No, nope, because right? I decided I'm almost done with this. So, and you already talked about your, that's your whip. Yes. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm good. Well, like I said, I want to have this finished. And then I'll go back to working on all the other stuff. So I have some whips. I will talk about my whips real quick. So the thing I've been focusing on most is my um, test knit for Jenny Stamen. Hi, Jenny, if you're watching. Um, (laughs) um, And uh, I don't think that's the the words of that song. I don't know. Oh, that's the difference on that oh, I was singing. You're doing a different one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is the song for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. So this is not the color. The color is much greener than this. This is coming like out almost gray. Yeah, too right? late. Yeah. Yeah, that's not so That looks good. Yeah, that's not coming out right. But the it's on my website. This Ooh. is Windswept on Hope's Favorite. Um, you can see the color on the w- website. This is not the color. It's yeah. not coming out right. But that's okay. Um, I'm oh, I think I'm, I'm over halfway. I think. Um, so, like I said, this is a test knit. It is Leeward by Jenny Stamen. Um, I'm making the large size. I think it's Squall is is the version I'm making. Um. So it's going to be more of a wrap than a scarf. There's a scarf um, version as well. Um, it's going to be warm so, too. Ooh, yeah. I'm really, everything feels I mean, obviously warm today. Well, and this is my cashmere base, so it is going to yeah. be warm. Yeah, I won't it's soft. Be probably wearing this until the fall. Well, no, who knows? Spring with a tank top. This might be lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's so Where small. it starts off like every different. <laughs> yeah, you call it. yeah. And who knows? It might snow this spring. So. You never know. Out of things have happened. But this, so this one, when I get done oh, so doing soft. the knitting, I'm going to come back and 
I'm there. There's different ways you can do it, but you're going to add some stranded color through the um, through where the pearl ridges are. And I'm going to do mine using crochet. There is a way to do it using knitting needles. Um, but since I'm a crocheter, I will be choosing the crocheted that version. That is going to be really fun. Um, and I think I'm going to use Kailua. I haven't 100% decided, but... I, I think Kailua will be amazing. I think Kailua will yeah. be really pretty because you've got the greens and the blues and the... Yeah, I just think it'll be really pretty. So, so yeah. So, I'm making good progress. I, I think... I think I did like that much since last time. I need. I meant to put a marker in and I forgot. So anyway, so this is where, this is all, you're increasing up in this section and then you're going, you're just going straight across here. It's it's all done on the bias, so. I can't believe how different the colors look. Yeah, I know. It's it crazy. It doesn't look anything like that in real yeah. life. I know. So, so I will, I have a few more repeats to do and then I will start doing the decreases again, but, or well for the first time because this was increased and then when I get to the other side that will decrease so but it's really it's really neat I'm really yeah. enjoying it and it's definitely it was I really had to pay a lot of attention for the first sections because I didn't use stitch markers at first once I started using stitch markers you can see I've got, easier. I've got Keisha's stitch markers in there a couple of them um, once I started to use the stitch markers, that really helped me keep track of where I was. And it's been, I've just been, you know, cruising right along now that I started Muppet using the stitch dun, dun. markers. <sighs> <sighs> Moving right along. Okay, we got to stop saying <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, so the stitch markers definitely help. This is um, a repeat section, and, and so keeping them there definitely is a good way to keep track of where you are. Right. And it makes it super super easy so i even have taken it to knitting or to knit night to knit group and sat there and been able to knit without losing track of where i'm at so that's really handy um and i'm using knit i'm you have the pattern in knit companion which has it gives you a highlighter line so that you can see which line you're on which is really handy i can't show you that because then i would be showing you the pattern so maybe i'll bring up a free pattern one time and oh, yeah. show you but i don't have that it's on my iPad, so I can't actually I I'd have to put it on my other iPad and bring that so I could show it. I will try to remember to do that sometime soon. Um, okay, so that's what I've been working on mostly. Um, I also made some progress on my gym socks, <laughs> <laughs> which is um, Woolens and Nosh, um, her 90 10 um, Targi. Uh, base her her sock base which I I really like I really I love the color really nice. the color is I pretty love the colors. true right kinda? yeah I feel like those are yeah pretty they're good. pretty accurate accurate yeah those are pretty good I don't know why the other one didn't come out at all so this is her colorway day hiker I really like that yeah I think it's day hiker or day hiking hmm I don't know the tags inside so it's either day hiker or day hiking but it goes like really really well with my hiking boots which I think yeah. is kind of fun um, so I will not be working on these probably for a while because like I said, my elbows are bothering me. So I'm going to, when I'm at the gym uh, and on the treadmill, I'm just going to take a break for a while and let my elbows have a little rest. So I will not be getting to work on anything that is not deadline knitting for a while. So I will get back to these, but I made really good. I feel like I you did really good. Them. Yeah. I was going to say you're so, making really good progress. Yeah. They're, so I have, I've finished, um, a stripe of every color now so you can see yeah, this is what it's, it's gonna really look pretty. like yeah that's and really I gonna go good with your hiking boots it's really pretty so i'm really excited about that um so then what else did i work on i did a little bit on owen's blanket which i'm this is gonna be the last time i talk about this for a while oh i was in the middle of a row look at that I should probably finish that. Um, I'm not going to talk about this for a while because it's the same thing over and over again. It's just making these squares and then connecting the squares. So, um, but this is the cloudy day blanket. It's a, it's a knit. I don't remember who the designer is. It was one that I got through Knit Picks. Um, let me see if I can find it. And I'm knitting it in Knit Picks. Um, I'm knitting it in Knit Picks. Uh, brava they're worsted brava so and the colors are hmm, dove heather i think current 
uh, and cobblestone heather. And the designer is Emily Kim. Kin? Kim. It'll be down below. Emily Kin. I don't know. I'm yeah, not sure how I to can't. pronounce <laughs> her last name, and I don't want to butcher it. So <laughs> I'm just going to show you that. And that's her name. Her name. Um, yeah. The. It's. I think I showed you guys this before, but this is the blanket that I'm doing, except I'm doing it in with red mixed in there too. Um, so, so yeah, so I got a little bit more done on his blanket. I'm going to probably have to take a little break from that too while my, I let my um, arms have a little bit of a rest. Um, I think that's pretty much just finished up my socks and then, yeah. I did the heels and toes on those and then I worked on this and I think that's pretty much everything that I did in the last two weeks for knitting and yeah so I think that's mm. pretty much it and you you have you really only been you said you had oh no um, you didn't bring anything else. I didn't bring anything you. else um what I've been working on the most uh is this and my le pouf Oh, yeah, and you've been working on your Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I have not started. And I'm still working on the brioche and my expiration station. And that's um, great. I saw you working on that too. Yeah. So that's like, those are the high things I've been, you know, I, of course, I have my gym sock too, which I only work on at the gym. Um, well, actually, it needs to be my finished sock because we're going on two years now with that other sock. You're getting there. I'm getting You'll there. I'm getting there. there. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Like, I have my pocketbook shawl that I'm working on that my husband and I will be sharing, eyebrows and I. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, oh, that's uh, right. You worked on the bright side some, too. I've yeah. never seen you do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then um, the kid's hat that I'm working on from um, Tin Can Knits. Yeah, you're that, doing the... Um, the uh, antler. The antler toque. The antler that's toque. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so that's... But uh, like I'm almost done with this, so I'm like I'm going to. So you didn't bring anything else? No, nope. it's okay. Yeah. Didn't bring anything else. Oh, well, you, you. And this is like an off day. Like I'm all discombobulated. Yeah, yeah. we we're at work. Like we said, we're recording on a different day than we were yeah. supposed to. But I just figured my yeah. day got a little cobbled up anyway because I didn't have any water last night, yeah. so we had to have somebody come house in stuff. And, yeah, do some house stuff. So that was, yeah. You can't really dye yarn without water, so that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. So I figured that, and we didn't want to have to be super rushed tomorrow since you've got an appointment. So yeah. So <laughs> get so, <yeah>. my rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a uh, tooth person, so yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's everything we've worked on and whatnot. So yeah, what about. I need to pick up again is the my uh, or Rob's. Uh, emotional support chicken. Chicken. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like. I was heavy into that, and then it was as soon as the whole pick up stitches part, and I was just like, Ugh, but I got to get back to it. So, oh, I, it? I oh. wanted to <laughs> say, so I, I, the, I don't remember what I think. Well, I think I fully follow. I can't think what her name is. Wooly Mammoth Knits, but I don't know if that's her name on, um, on YouTube. I can't remember. But she's doing something a little different than I guess what she used to do with her podcasts. She's, I can't remember her name. She's doing like interviews with different like makers. And she had Willy Nilly Knits on the other day. And I'm not sure These names, Willy Nilly Knits. Oh. Nope, that's not her. I don't know if I can find. Let's see if I can find. Um, so. It was really cool, though, because he was talking about how he um, got into knitting. And um, he was he was a math teacher. I don't know if he still is. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Maybe he still is. I'm not I I didn't. I don't know if I caught the entire interview or. Um, let me see. I think that's what it's called. Let's see if I can find her. Emma Robinson is her name, and she's doing, there it's the one, she's doing Thinking Through Making, um, Galway Yarn and the Lore, so she's doing, yeah, she's, yeah, she's doing a new little series, like, it's called Thinking Through Making, and she had Willy Nilly on the other day, and 
he, um, I think his name is actually Willie Smith, but he's Willie Nilly Knits mm -hmm. on Instagram. And I had to show it to my son because he's a math guy. And, you know, he was talking about, you know, how math is, you know, part of knitting and everything. And I was like, that's really like, I liked that, especially yeah. since my son knits now and he's also a math guy too. So I had to show him that because I thought that was really neat. So that's pretty cool. You can check, um, check out Emma Robinson and um, she's a yarn dyer over in Ireland, I want to say. Um, mm. And she, she's she been doing these interviews of different makers and things. So oh, that's cool. It's, it's pretty interesting. So um, do we want to go through what and all we got on Sun? Oh, we have stuff from Knit Not Matter, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could do that. So do you you just... I'll do mine because, okay, you, you know, pictures. we well, don't live together. Do, so. do Knit Not Matter first, yeah. and then I'll do mine, too. So after Yeah, do so we don't live together. So I, I figure instead of bringing all my stuff over, I'm like, you know what? Because like some of the things, like I have a mug, I don't want it to get broken in the... You know, the back and forth in yeah. the transit. So, I'll show you what I got from Knit Not Matter. I'm making all sorts of noise. Sorry about so, that. So, um, I'm a mug gal, and um, I love a good mug. And there they had... Oh, I forgot you got the mug, too. Yeah. That's really cute. So, um, I'll zoom in on it. Ah. So, this was really cool. Um... It was a mug with, um, I guess it's a sock, or it came with the skein of yarn. With, with sock and yarn. It, sock yarn, and it says, Knit Happens. Well, I have a t-shirt that Brandy got before mm -hmm. a couple years ago that says, Knit Happens. And um, the, uh, what do you call it? The cup, the yarn in it, should I give the information? Because, yeah. yeah, it's T-E-T-O-N -T -T -E Yarn Company. Teton? Yeah, they have a, um, they're on Instagram as the same name. They also have an Etsy store. Um, but it's 100% superwash merino. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know what. I mean, Here, I'll figure out something with it. it up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. So, but really cool yeah. cup. Because I need more mugs. She she mostly got it for the mug. Yeah, that's exactly why. It. Yeah. So, the yarn happened to be in it. But, you know, but that, hey. That's pretty. I mean, you could use it for, put it in a shawl or whatever. Yeah. So and then nice. the other thing I got. So, the owner of the shop. Um, her da daughter. Her daughter was making these really cool ornaments which i wish we'd have taken a picture of the ornament we should have I, yeah i yeah of us thought to um i haven't even looked up the pattern yet but uh i don't either have I. yeah but she was crocheting and she was flying through them and all she was and she must have made three while we were there yep yeah. and uh this is the kit yeah. but that's the kit of the uh yep. what do you call it um and i got one oh yeah in pinks and purples yep and, and then she had sparkly. She, yeah, she decided she, the first couple she made were just yeah straight without any sparkle to them. And then she added some sparkle. She did a purpley pink one yeah. with this purpley pink sparkle yarn. And so, well. And then I got know, the, the if, white If you gold know me, well. you know, I like a good purpley. This mm. is not the color though. This is. It's 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 not it's not too bad. It's not it's too bad. It's a little bad. off. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So so yeah. So I got these colors, and then it came mm -hmm. with um the kit came with ornaments. So yep. you cover the ornaments with you do crocheted. They're kind of like granny circles, not yeah. granny squares. And then you you crochet it onto there. So that's a fun crochet project, and it came with a QR code to go to a yep. pattern as well. This did not come in here, but I just stuck it in there so I have it all together. <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't lose it. Okay, I'm going to stop crinkling it now, so I'll finish doing that later. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was what we picked up at Knit Not Natter. And yeah. then on Sunday, we when we went to... Um, oh, so what we were saying is... Oh, I think we already said that, maybe. What? That we were checking... We meant to just go to check Oh, yeah. Out so it was supposed to... Yeah. If we would be interested in doing um, a show there next... You know, applying next year, which we are interested in applying next year. But we... Yeah, we ended up doing a little bit of yeah. shopping. So. But more shopping than I... Yeah. Because I so, looked at... So show what you got So I'll show you what I got. Friend, um, our friend, uh, Belinda. Who is Gracie... Gracie Textiles... There's her information. And we will put link it down below too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So 
If you guys follow me, I had it on this weekend. I love her card. It's so pretty. Yeah. That's great. Here we go. So, so she right, hand so weaves. This so. is an apron that I got. I do love aprons. Yeah. Oh, here. I'll, so, uh, I'll hold it up a little bit closer. There so, we go. Yeah, That's better. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So nice. And I tested it out this weekend. I made chocolate chip cookies and pizza. Yeah. And I looked cute while I was doing it. <laughs> so, but yeah. So and I was actually, I had my... um my sweater that I made with pine lens and sand dollar on and I picked this up and went no oh, yeah it, it matched perfectly it matched perfectly with my sweater that I was wearing yep. so I had to get this cute little Ooh. towel that she uh wove which I think is really pretty with the greens and the purples and the cream and the creamy tan I see I would never use that so like because it's so pretty like I wouldn't want to use it it's gonna that's go what I meant in my bathroom because that way I don't have to worry about anybody oh else sharing it and wiping it. up something yes. and so Ooh will only be me that yeah. uses it and it won't get destroyed so i think it's very pretty um it yeah is. so we got that at, at gracie's oh. gracie gracie textile yeah and i will link this below in the show notes um she had a lot of really beautiful hand woven yeah. things she, she really even had really she had did. bags too yeah <laughs> you know me had, a bag yeah. i was surprised we managed to only get the apron there I, know. The bag. <laughs> I, I was tempted i was tempted but i'm like you know what i really do i need some new aprons because i do i love aprons yeah so and then let's see not only do i love mugs and aprons but or and yarn um i'll go next yeah cool. okay i got some books mm -hmm. so actually i got a trilogy and it's a lot it's um history of dr um I just mm. totally brain farted. Uh, I don't know that they can actually see it. This will be linked below. I don't yeah. think you can actually. But uh, amazing history, local New Jersey history. Um, says. Yeah. Yeah. So. And we got some. Oh, there's even a trail. Yeah, there's the Dr. Do James Still. Dr. James Still is the name of the gentleman who all the information was about. Yeah. And there is the Dr. James Still historic um, office site nature trail map. Yeah. So there's a nature trail. I feel trail. like that's our next trail. Yeah. I In feel Burlington like County. Definitely need to go check that out. But um, he had the information. It was, there was a lot. It was a there. lot. We can't go into all of it because yeah. it was a lot. But they told us all. It was very, very he was very. These are the, his descendants. Yes. Yes. His descendants were the ones who were sharing this information and had the books. And it was really, really interesting. Um, well, I did tell him I was so, taking a picture. Should I show a picture yeah, of them? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, these lovely ladies right here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And just, oh, I was yeah. just in like, oh. Uh, yeah, it was I really I could have stood there cool. and listened to it all day. It was yeah. really cool. So, so we'll, oh, here's the, the, I'll put the information down in the bottom. But um, he was, it says, the first African-American historic site preserved by the state of New Jersey, Dr. James Still Historic Office Site and Visitor Center. Teaching, restoring, and preserving the legacy of dr james still the black doctor of the pines yeah so really it's really, really cool, cool. Yeah. there's the address of the thing and i'll put that all down in yeah. the bottom too really interesting really cool he was uh, he i mean he was just a really yeah. really interesting man so good information really cool and keisha got the books so of course <laughs> and there's more books I want to get to. Yeah, but. yeah. There was like, yeah, and yeah. that was we. Oh, oh, I didn't get any books because I am pretty much into audiobooks right now because I don't have time to read. Um, but this is another oh, author that yeah. was there, and Keisha, you got a book from them oh, too. Yeah, of course I did. She got a book from them, and I. I was up, talking to his son, and yeah, I picked up information because they do have audiobooks. So yeah. I'm gonna look those up because I can't. I just don't have time yeah. lately to. But um, I got a signed copy of the book. Really nice. Uh, really and cool. And they're they're. And, and this is actually a comedy. They're set well. <laughs> yeah, the dark series. comedy. Really. Yeah, no, they're set yeah. in the Pine Barrens. Right? Pine Barrens. Everything's set in the Pine Barrens. What I've noticed about the Pine Barrens, it's either there's a lot of like either like you know well the Jersey Devil yeah. and all this stuff. There's a, a lot of murder and mystery. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that he said was really funny and. Yeah. Um, and really good. So uh, this is one yeah. that, that they have. This is an audiobook. So this is the one that I'm mm -hmm. going to look into getting my hands on. So. Right. So yeah. then, um, 
You want to go next? No, go ahead. Oh, okay. So here's the other thing, because like I said, I love mugs. Oh, okay. I'll pull that one out. So um, we went to um, Whole Barn Pottery, Whole Barn Pottery, and I got two mugs. The color's not that great on here, but yeah, of course I have two cool. because my husband, who's only been drinking coffee for five years now, mm -hmm. um, I got to get him mugs out mm -hmm. too. So I got one mug for him and one for me. So. Um, and I'll have I'll put all of this down in the show notes yeah, too. But really cool. Um, but I love her card too. Yeah, her Everybody cards are really cool. Like really, really nice. So yeah, yeah. So and I got. So she had, which apparently I was going with things that match my outfit. <laughs> so I was wearing my. <laughs> I was wearing my uh, green. <laughs> oh my, my god, mossy, that is so my, true. <laughs> my mossy oh hat my that day and yeah. I don't know. Can there you, you go. There okay. now you can. There you yeah. go. The, the that's really cool. Uh, it's a co so it's a coaster. It's got a little cork <laughs> yeah. on the back. <laughs> Things that match my hat or my a hat, outfit, your my outfit. outfit. Oh my god, that's so, so true. And yeah, so I just I like mushrooms. So, yeah. And this, I, you know, I thought that was really cool. So I picked that up there. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um. Yeah. So we had. Oh. No, oh, you have more. The other thing. I have? Oh, don't forget these. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Oh, are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Okay. I bought. I got us beer because it was her birthday and yeah. um, pretzels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she. Yeah, so and she got the books where I didn't get those. Yeah. Now I want to talk about this. This we didn't get buy anything, but she had gorgeous earrings and jewelry. Yeah. Some were um, sea glass. Yeah. And other things were like hand painted. It mm -hmm. was really really pretty. Um, Thing. She was right in the booth right next to our friend. Gracie. Um, I mean, Belinda. Belinda. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. my God. I'm... So she had really cool stuff, too. But I, mostly I wear her stuff. So. <laughs> like, I mostly use so her. I wasn't like... <laughs> in the, right. I wasn't in the market for, for jewelry. Well, I don't. Yeah. Mostly I wear her stuff. So I was in the market. But it was really, 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 yeah, really pretty cool. stuff. Yeah. Because her pieces, cool. they're not the same. Like, the earrings and stuff because she paints them. So. Yeah. Um, okay. So then we stopped. Well, I, we were talking about this oh, earlier. Somebody's hungry. Um, her. We said what was it? What did I say? It was called Swan something. So she. Yeah, her, so her website is Hands On History. Um, I will link it as I said below. Oh, Sw Swan Bay Folk Art Center, and this is the lady who I said they have classes. They do basket weaving. They do felting. Um, but I had I wanted one of these felted um, uh, garlands, so I'm gonna put that up somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I loved the colors. I thought that was really pretty. So yeah. I grabbed a felted garland. So and then we Which also <laughs> not in her sweater. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But the weird thing is, is that's that blue almost exactly. Oh, yeah. That is weird. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, so we also we saw um, the South Jersey Guild of Spinners and mm -hmm. Hand Weavers there. They were spinning and weaving right there in the um, Yeah, they the had show. some cool stuff, too. And um, so we grabbed their their card. That was pretty cool. Um, and I don't remember what this one was. Oh. I wonder if that was one of the books. I don't know. I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to look it up and see. Maybe I'll talk about it next time. But there was another card. Okay, so this was... Oh, maybe it's in the bag. Or I'm not sure where I put it. Anyway, then I also went to Pineland's Basket Tree. And it was... Mary, right? Mary Cardi? Yeah. Mary, we we spoke with Mary for a while, and she has this, I think, is Oh, that's so the book guy. Cool. Okay, that's a book guy. Okay. So, she had, these are so neat, because the, this is on, this is pottery, and that's a, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if, if it's a stamp, or if it's painting, or what, but. Yeah. But I that's think I, I think it's really pretty. And yeah. then the really cool part is this is pine needles. Mm -hmm. These are pine needles. Yeah. Oh, and look at the bird. I didn't even notice the little bird. And there's a little bird on there. Too. Oh, there's no spiders. Thank God. No spiders on this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, they use pine needles and they and there were baskets yeah. made with pine Beautiful needles. Beautiful baskets. Which were really, really cool. Um, so oh, this one's by El Deary. This isn't by Mary Cardi. 
Do I have a, I don't know if I have a card. I have the card for the other one. Hmm, I don't see it. Huh. Huh. Oh, maybe I thought you grabbed a card. I thought I did too. I did. Maybe it's in my purse. Well, this is if, not. No, I, there were two cards, and I grabbed uh -oh. both. But I'm thinking that well, one might have uh, gotten. She put the number on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Did I show that? This I card. Know, the back of it. I don't know. Okay. Well, if I have to. <laughs> anyway. Um. But yeah, I got the other card. You know, it's probably in my bag, which mm. I will link the information below. But I just thought that this was so cool, and it's. It can be an ornament for the, oh, oh, there it is. Ornament for the tree, or I could just, I'm thinking. Just an everyday, yeah, something yeah. cool. Yep. It came with this little hanger, which I thought was really cute, too. Yep. So, yeah. So, Fun. I think that's really cool. And, yeah, so that's what we. That's we did this we, past Sunday. Yeah. So, so that's, I think that's pretty much it, that's right? It, yeah. So then, I guess I've got some shop talk. Do you have anything else you? I see you have notes. So, no, this was just you know keep me on track. Okay. Yeah. So all right, I have some shop talk, and then I think that's it. So yeah. this is gonna I be kind a of a short, short one. one. Yeah. Um, boy, I have a lot of cards down here. <laughs> I can't remember that looked neat, but I didn't ever the rock, rock, rock. They and that was the other thing. I guess we didn't say they had a so they had crafters yeah. in one room and then in the other room it was more information i mean they did like that history that's also where they had the spinners and the weavers yeah. i don't know that they had much they had a few things for sale in that that other room but it was mostly a lot of information well yeah like if you want to buy books and stuff books yeah. Were, yeah yeah but they also had um somebody this is a magnet for the rang rang cop conservatory.org I'm glad um, you tried to, to say that protect Re the Rancaucus Creek um, mm -hmm. but they had lots of lots of information it was really if you're if you like the Pine Barrens if you're yeah. or if you're just interested in learning more about the Pine Barrens definitely yeah. a worthwhile um, show to go to so yeah, it, was, it was I lines would lines on the pines and I highly think, recommend yeah. I think I'm Thinking it's every March, right? Yeah, it is every March. So yeah. So we, and next, you know, as we get closer to it, we will make sure that we tell you yeah. about it beforehand and not after we've gone. Yeah. Next time, um, we didn't know. Yeah, we had no idea was, what to expect. So yeah, I had no idea it was that big. Yeah, like we didn't, it's. We didn't really know. They what had it a whole was, entire so. section, or like you know, sometimes they talk about doing stuff for kids. You know, it could be a little like, oh, it's cute. They had a whole entire oh, yeah, section that we did a, not venture into. Yeah, we didn't. Sorry. We didn't I'm, have kids with us, so yeah. we weren't going to um, But it looked like it was it was awesome. Like, yeah. A lot of yeah. fun things for the kids and stuff to do. So Yeah, it was. Yep. It was yeah. really cool. So that's what we've been up to. And also, I've been dyeing some yarn again. Um, and I actually, because I don't have our next show. Oh, which we didn't say this in the beginning. We normally do. Our next show will be... April 20th and 21st mm. at the local yarn store Ooh. in South Orange, New Jersey. Um, that will be during the Wool Walk. And Keisha and I will be there Saturday and Sunday. As Sorry, well. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And then also <laughs> on Saturday, Murky Depths will be there. So there will be three trunk shows going not on. Not one, not two. Three. three. So definitely try, you know, if, if that's, if you're planning on doing the Wool Walk, mm. You might want to pencil in a yeah. local yarn store for Saturday because that's you get three shows, three shows in one, three shows in <laughs> one, which is nice. So um, yeah, so we oh, will, and we didn't talk about. Are we still going to do the Philly yarn crawl? Yeah. We might. We haven't decided. Yeah, that we were supposed to do on Thursday. It's so coming Thursday. That, if you are in our area, there is a yarn crawl going on in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia, the greater yeah. Philadelphia area. Delphia. There's some sh stores in Philly, and then it's also the greater Philadelphia area around there. So um, I think there's 16 stores involved. Um, it starts on the 14th and goes through Sunday. Yeah. Through Sunday. So um, we're thinking about going and doing a little bit of a yarn crawl ourselves. We don't know. We It depends on if we get there. But if we see ya, say hello. Um <laughs> So yeah, so we we're not sure where we're gonna start or if, if we're yeah we're not sure because I, I feel like I'm running out of energy like thinking about it because I'm like for to me it seems like it's next week but it's not yeah no it's two days from now yeah so, so yeah so actually 
you probably will see this after we've already done it because if we yeah, do it's March it, 14th we were through 17th about possibly doing it on the 14th because so hopefully if we saw we used we saw you and if we didn't yeah I'm sorry but yeah because we are probably if we do do it we're going to do it on the 14th which is before this will post I know which is yeah. the day after tomorrow yeah mm. I don't know yeah we I know been, last been, week it seemed like oh good idea we're all gun ho and yeah. like this week uh, ah. it's been busy so but so since i don't have a show until oh and i did do i did a little tiny sale for my birthday on saturday too thank you for those of those few who made purchases i appreciate it um and but yeah so we don't have any shows until about mid-april yeah so i get a little bit of time um to do some new stuff as well as i have a ton of stuff that i need to die to restock but i also decided that it was time to get to dye some new things so this i think is going to be chocolate honey is the color name i think is what i'm going to call it <laughs> i call myself chocolate honey ah. mm. but if you look though <laughs> so but look it's oh, all okay, sunny that is, that that's so uh, apparently i should i uh, shouldn't have called the gold keisha's golden i should have <laughs> so i have so far i have it on jojo's favorite so and eyebrows i just dyed honey. <laughs> <laughs> i dyed this i think yesterday <laughs> on um i think home's getting a little red <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it on I'm Hope's afraid. favorite. <laughs> She's not right. Um, <laughs> so this is it on Hope's it favorite. Um, and this and, and this, the color. Pretty, yeah, that's it's pretty, pretty good. Dead on. Yeah, that's spot on. Good. So that's on Hope's favorite. And then this is on Jojo's favorite. I mm. will be dyeing it on DK pretty soon because my oldest son said that he would like to make a hat with this and Ophelia. He wants mm. to do a color work hat. He wants to. Cold, yeah. He's going to he has this idea which i'm can't wait to see and i love the fact that he has only been knitting again since summertime and he's already like yeah. gonna try to do a color like he wants to modify the ajax hat yeah. wow. so he's going Excuse to turn me. the he wants to and we'll see if he can he's it's he well, he's your son, so. So I think it's going to be awesome if he manages to figure it out. But he wants to turn it into color work to make it look kind of like trees with vines growing. Oh, that'd them. be cool. And then, like, the, um, he wants the top to look like, like the canopy, like the tree canopy. Wow. So I, yeah, so he's going to use. I'm interested. He's going to use this, and then he's going to use um, Ophelia for, to do it. So I can't wait to see yep. how it. I agree. How it does. So that's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, so Chocolate Honey is not up on the website yet. I need to get photos. Today is honey, not going to be the photo day because it is incredibly sunny. Um, but as soon as I get it photographed, hopefully, I don't know, it might be already up by the time this comes out because like I said, we are podcasting on a Tuesday and this comes out on Friday. So we will see. I might be able to get it up. Um, and then, and this probably won't come out because... Oh, shoot. I had a swatch. Well, I have a swatch Oh, here. yeah, you oh, did. Oh, swatch. Okay. So, this probably won't come out, but we're going to try to show it anyway. Oh. Oh. Hey, that's wow. Close. It looks, yeah, it's, that's, it's close. That's close. Yeah. It's a, little, it's a little darker in real life. Yeah. That's a little bright. But that's not bad. I'm actually impressed that that came out that well. I thought for sure. Oh, okay. That's a, like mm. right there. There. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So this one doesn't have a name either. I have to actually, it might be Midnight on the Beach. I haven't decided because mm -hmm. it's kind of got, it's, Chocolate a, honey it's a and really, Midnight on the Beach. It's oh. real. Oh no, you can't do that at all. It's yeah. a real dark blue, but with like a tealy green undertone. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I can't, I think this would make such a pretty sweater. And yeah. honestly, I feel like some you could honey. do something with that. On the beach. So, so I haven't decided, but that might be what this is called. It might be called Midnight on the Beach. Um, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, got a swatch. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, I don't, I don't know. If I put it up close, mm -mm. you can see that it's tonal, yeah. but, but that's not the color. So I will get pictures of it when I can and get it uh, posted. But yeah, it is a, it's a tonal. Um, yeah. Wow. 
back there, it's more of the... You can see it a little bit here, you too. You can, yeah, but it's hard to see. Yeah. I mean, you can see that it's tonal when you hold it up like that. Right. But it's but that's more the color, the actual color. So, yeah. So that's... Um, yeah, so... Yep, that's really... Yeah, so that's my new blue, which I really like the way it turned out. And then this one here, I'll show you what I was going for. This one I actually... And I don't do this very often because a lot of times I just come up... I just... I don't know. I come up with colors, ideas in my head of things I want, and I just dye that. But I saw this the other day, and that yeah. was an ad for the Philadelphia Flower Show. Mm -hmm. And I saw that, and I was like, oh, that would be pretty as a color. So this is what I... Mm, surprisingly, that's came, almost uh, kind of like what it looks like in... Yeah. Uh, so, kind of, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And I can't a, wait to it, buy it. Yeah, it's that's coming out a little lighter than it actually yeah. is. It's it's got it's got more like it's coming it's out. It's really pretty, but it's perfect. Yeah. So that's was my I that's what I came up mm -hmm. with from that picture. So yeah. this one might be called Flower Show. I haven't decided yet. It might be Flower Show. But that'd be cool because every year you can come out with That would like, be kind of fun. Yeah. One based on the on the flower show. Like yeah. The, yeah. Anyway, so I that's oh, really pretty. Hot flash. I know it is hot. Really pink. Look at that. Yeah, Ooh. it's hot. Mm. Yay! All right. So, so yeah. I know we were looking at these together, and I was thinking, okay, yeah. sweater with this is your color work, mm -hmm. or maybe a three color shawl. Yeah. Like I don't That's know. That's really pretty. I like those together. I think Me those too. all would. Can't really... wait till you take a picture of them so I can take those off your hand. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, now flower show, I'm going to try to dye flower show again, but oh. I dyed it and I, it didn't have enough color. So I threw it back in the pot and I added more color and I know what I did, but I'm not a hundred percent sure I can we'll recreate it, it. I'm going to try to recreate it. Um, but it may be, this might be all I have of it. So we will see. Hopefully I can recreate it and we'll have more of it, but we'll see. Oh my God. Oh it is gosh, warm. Yeah, I feel like it's getting hotter as we sit yeah. out here. Oh. So since we're starting to melt, yeah. I think, and that's yeah. I mean, I'm dying. Chocolate honey's getting melty. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> you did not go there. Well, I mean, you had like candy, oh. and it melts, and if it's made out of honey. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the other thing I thought was really cool. <laughs> at um, you said candy, and that made me think of the maple. Oh maple. yeah, they have. They have Maple Stockton syrup. has maple, maple syrup. Stockton maple syrup. Like, yeah, that I thought was really cool. Oh, and the one, the lady who she said she, the lady who had the the Pine Barren, um, Pine Barren Yarn Company. She said that she works at Stockton too, right? Didn't she? Yeah, that's. I feel like she was a yeah a professor of communication. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So really, I mean, it was really cool because when yeah. you say local, that was local. It was local. Yes. So yeah, if you. Now I gotta look at that stock and maple syrup. Yeah, the stock and maple syrup. That I was, thought that was really cool too. That was cool. Yeah. I mean, I had hit my <laughs> my spending oh, yeah. for that because we at first I was like, oh, and then and then I didn't want to buy it and then use it at home because I'm like, am I only gonna be using this for myself? Because that's who I am. Like, I just spent thirty five dollars for some syrup. <laughs> it's this is mom's <laughs> pancake. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all can have that Vermont syrup. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. But. So yeah, it was really that was really interesting. And they, yeah, so they had information about how they do that stuff. Yeah. Like I said, tons of information. It was really. It was so cool. Really interesting. I wish that, I wish we'd, I honestly, I wish it had been longer than it was because. Yeah, it was a it short was from show 11 to, to four, 4. And with as much information, I feel like you could have spent all day. All of that, like 11 to 4. It's funny. And you could have, like, you yeah. probably still wouldn't. If you went through and looked at every single booth, you would run out of time. Yeah, especially if you brought your kids and stuff with you, too. Yeah. Like, because yeah, usually shows like that, they're a little bit longer. Yeah. And that I feel was like, like that could have been a two day show. I was, yeah, because I was thinking to myself, too, like, I'm like, oh, we'll just go there, walk through stuff real quick. I'll get some pictures, yada, yada, just well, check being, it out. And we were there until like three. We got there, yeah. what, like 11 30 ish? Yeah. So was, and yeah. We, yeah. We were so, there. And yeah, I feel like oh, that, like we kind of because we hadn't planned to be there. Yeah. Because I had other plans for the day, so we hadn't planned on spending that much time there. But I feel like you could have spent a whole day there, and really, you could probably it could have been a two day show because you could I definitely agree. have 
And um, I would have gone both days because yeah, I really felt was, like it was so cool. There was cool. no admission. It yep. was free to get in. There was free parking. It was really, yep. really nice. So definitely worth the worth checking out next year. So if you... Oh, yeah, it was a grant. The area. Oh, the Maple Grant. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the Maple Grant. That is really cool. Yeah, so... I think oh, they even had a is, tour. Oh, I got to... We, we got to get on the... Yeah. Out. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Okay. Because you know I'm all about that. Yeah. So fun. So, like we said, everything that it might hopefully, if I miss anything, I'm going to try to make sure that I get all of this down in the the description. But if there's anything that I missed and you want information about it, just you know, put it in the comments or um, send me an email and I will give you more information about those things. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Look at us at an hour 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did okay. I mean, yeah, we had a lot of information and we yep. apparently were talking fast. So, oh, yeah. Because we're hot. So, yeah. Did I? I'm losing it. It's okay. <laughs> I was thinking that there was a book that I was, but I don't remember now. So, it's okay. Okay. Well, I also feel like I'm running out of energy. I still have to go for a run. I know. I am tired. Jesus. I didn't get any. I knew. I know. I need to do yoga or something today. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. So I think that's everything. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, if you have any sh shows in the oh. in the area, like <laughs> right. like we found out about this through um, a, one of our knitting groups. Um, but if you know of any craft shows in our area. You know, even within, I feel like two hours. Yeah. In two, within two hours. And you know what we never say? We are Pine Barren Knits. We never, we always forget, like everybody else I just noticed, like when they start off, they're like, hi, we're blah, blah, blah. And we're coming to you from, we're coming to you from Seaville, New Jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we never say that. But I mean, obviously Pine Barrens because we are in the Pine Barrens. But the Pine Barrens are pretty good sized yeah. area of we're New Jersey. We're Pineys. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they call people. I yeah. know they Pineys. do. Yeah. So, but are we, you really a piney, though? I don't know. What Salem, you know? where you're from? No, actually? originally where I'm yeah. from, uh, probably uh, not. I don't think okay. Salem County is not part of the Pine Barrens. I don't believe. Okay. So I'm originally from no, not the Pine Barrens, but mm. but where we live right now, yeah, we both We're live pineys. in the Pine Barrens. Yeah, we live in the Pine Barrens. So so yeah, so we are coming to you from. Seville, New Jersey, which is down near the shore, mm -hmm. um, as people see. It's funny because I feel like people say down the shore, but I don't feel like anybody who actually lives here ever says down the shore. Yeah. But people who live elsewhere say, down the would say we're yeah. down the shore. So we're down the shore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's it. funny too, and I never say, I either say Upper Township or I say Petersburg. Yeah. 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 I usually say Seville or Upper yeah. Township because I think I just say yeah. Upper Township. I just say that because we're yeah. we're ten villages, by the way. Oh, I know. Yeah, the village yeah. I live in, I think it's just my house, is Petersburg, yeah. <laughs> and half of the neighbors. <laughs> but it's and then there's Seville, Memora, Green something, Greenfield, Greenfield, Palmer, B. What's the Beasley's B, Point? Beasley's Point, Palmera, Seville, uh, Strathmere, which nobody knows. Tuckahoe, Tuckahoe. Yep. Yeah. Did we get them all? Nope. Did you say Palermo? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should think yeah. what else. Yeah. I don't know. One yeah. day we'll figure that out, but there's ten of them. I know that. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I've, I've realized that. Like I was like watching an episode of something else, and they come to you lie. So, yeah. <laughs> we're not live. So but. and and I don't even know. You know, we we're called Pine Barren Knits, but do people even realize that there's Pine Barrens in New Jersey? So yeah. we are coming from New Jersey too. Like, yeah. As I said, Seville, New Jersey. So we should also get little things as previously recorded. <laughs> yeah we're not live no. that's yeah so um yeah so yeah so if you have any you know shows that you think are really fantastic in your area you know and isn't hit us up yeah let, let us, us know because we'd love to know we love that type of thing obviously so yeah so yeah so i think that's it for today yeah if we had credits they would come here <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. All right. All Peeps. right. See you in two. Have a good one. See you in two weeks. Two weeks. All right. <laughs>